Five couples today has trouble conceiving, and about half the time it's a problem with the man. Drinking has more than one thing to do in life either house. Daryl Skogstad always thought of himself as a man's man. The former NFL player and prep star never thought he'd have trouble becoming a father. Being the macho person I was, it was very difficult for me to accept it. Gogstad's not alone. A lot of men equate fertility with virility. Well, I feel if a man cannot father a child, he's not really a man, and that's the way that most men feel about it. Um, it just took me a while to come to grips with it, and it, until I was able to come to grips with it, we weren't going to have a child. Under ideal circumstances, a man's sperm penetrates a woman's egg, and a pregnancy is achieved. But things don't always go this smoothly. Sometimes there just aren't enough sperm. Sometimes, high levels of sperm antibodies prevent fertilization. In some cases, the sperm aren't able to penetrate the egg on their own, but science has found a way around that obstacle as well. It's a procedure known as intracytoplasmic sperm injection, or ICSI for short. A specialist selects a single sperm under the microscope and picks it up in a pipette, then physically puts that sperm into the center of a human egg. It was under a microscope just like this one that Daryl and Linda's baby was conceived. The procedures helped about a thousand children be born, and so far, concerns about it producing abnormal babies haven't materialized. So far, no, there is neither an increased rate in the miscarriage or in the rate of birth defects from this procedure over what you see in a normal general population that can see normally. Katie, no. Linda is now just over five weeks pregnant, and for this couple, apprehension is starting to give way to another emotion. I think we're more excited about yeah. it, the ability we didn't know if it was going to work or not, and obviously it's working. And right now, Daryl and Linda are looking forward to a special delivery next July. That's Eye on Your Health. I'm uh, Teresa Green. ICSI has only been available in the Seattle area for about six months, and it isn't cheap. One try can cost well over $10,000, and it can take several tries to achieve a Let's recap.